Dr. James Arthur, and uh, from Greensboro. I, uh, my undergraduate was from UNC at Greensboro, was in mathematics, and then it was a BS and an MS, masters, and the masters was focusing on numerical analysis. Got an offer I couldn't refuse, moved to Houston, Texas, we're working with the, in the oil industry. Started my graduate work back at the University of Houston, got my master's in computer science there, then uh, transferred to Purdue for my PhD work, and in the process of doing my PhD work there, I paid $10 and got another master's. I started off in uh, user support environments uh, and migrated into software engineering. I came to Virginia Tech in 1983. I've been here for about 27, 28 years. Um, my primary area of research is um, software engineering. A lot of my research has focused on software quality. I'm sure you've opened up a computer and you have turned it on and if it was a Microsoft product you've gotten what was called the blue screen of death where it just shuts right down on you. Well, there's a problem with the software. There's an issue in the software. So how do we make sure that products like the operating system, a Microsoft operating system or the Unix operating system, how do we make sure that it is a quality product? Working with NASA, seeing the code that's being generated seeing the way that they are addressing um, very technical issues and some of the assumptions that they are making and when they accept risk and you think about gosh would you accept any risk at all if you're flying in a space shuttle well they do uh, it all comes down to time and cost i chose computer science because it is very, very challenging. Everything, when you really think about it, even the camera that I'm talking to is being driven by software. It's, you know, software is pervasive. It's in everything. The thing about computer science is it is a very creative discipline. Uh, you have to be creative to be able to program a computer make it do what you want to and there's nothing more satisfying than to take a system from its specifications all the way to the end and see it work. Every um, solution to a problem is unique. First of all you have to be creative and decide how you're going to solve the problem and then once you do that there are 50 different solutions. How do you pick the best one? My research is very challenging. Um, I can't find enough time to do it. I also teach. And there's nothing any more satisfying than all of a sudden you have one of those aha moments and you see the light come on with the student. They really understand what you're talking about. I enjoy challenging the students. Um, I think that's a lot of fun and I enjoy seeing them learn and uh, start framing their thoughts in a way towards solving problems. We encourage research at the undergraduate level, the faculty do. If we see a good student, uh, we will um, uh, try to en get them engaged in our research. We also have something called VTURCS, Virginia Tech Undergraduate Research in Computer Science, uh, where students compete for um, recognition at the end of the semester. So we try to introduce research, we try to make them think and think originally, and I think that prepares them for the time that they graduate. Come to Virginia Tech and you will be challenged, and you will love it. You will love it.